Let's talk about um, Adam Deacon because I think your face, I don't know if they, they probably did, they would have like, he doesn't want to, but I feel like we have to. Adam Deacon, um, what, what is that? Because I feel like I've heard things from Adam. I've heard things. Um, no one's like, heard. No one's heard from me. No, I've, yeah, I've not heard. But I've heard things. Maybe you know around the thing. You can read articles. You can see that there's been restraining orders and all those type of things. What What is that with Adam Deacon? Because obviously you guys worked together. You were close at one point. Um, what What happened there? And do you feel like? He there's he has a part to maybe play in. Do I feel? Yeah, like do you do you, is there you know? Hmm. I don't feel. Um, let me just say this. This narrative that you've been fed, that everybody's been fed. Just for context, he's basically come out publicly loads of times and said, you know, that you you bullied him. His you whole stopped career, you, you stopped I his blocked career him. And all yeah, these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. This narrative that, that people have been fed for the last 10 years and I've never spoken about, ironically, I spoke about it the other day on something, so <laughs> sorry. Um, I've never spoke about is, 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 is bullshit. And the biggest mistake, two mistakes I made, the biggest two mistakes I've made probably in my life was one, not giving all the evidence of the shit he was doing to me at the trial because I didn't want him to get, I didn't want this guy to get in trouble, but he would not leave me alone. And I'm gonna to get to that in a second, why? He just would not leave me alone, right? So I only gave enough evidence for them to deal with it. If I'd given the evidence that he was threatening the lives of my children and that he was telling people to find my address and, and jack me and, and do more, if I'd given that all in, I mean, it's kind of there, people heard, but I didn't give it in, right? It would have been on top. Before that point, from 2003 to, 2000, to 2010, this was my guy, like, this was my guy. I looked after him, I put him in every film, I put him in every film. Well, where's the, there was no bullying. There was no bullying. In 2010, he decides he's gonna make his film. Um, gonna make his film. I was helping him with this movie. I was helping the guy with the movie. Mm -hmm. He went and signed a contract with somebody else and cut me out. That's what happened, this is fact. Right. At that point, I said to him, we had a conversation, we kind of fell out a bit, but we had a conversation and he said, bro, I got to eat, man. You were taking too long. I said, fine, but you can't call the movie that name if it's not part of our thing, because this, this is my brand. Right. Cool. I'm not going to call it that. Then that's what they call it. That's why we fell out. There was no bullying. There's never been no bullying ever. That's why we fell out from 2011 to 2014, I didn't speak to the guy. There's no bullying. So that's from 2003 now to 2014. There's no bullying. Then one day in 2014, boom, he comes out. I blocked his career. I'm raising children. I'm running a business. I'm not out there. For sure, I said to people, he ain't working on my shit. That's my prerogative though. Mm. If we've fallen out, why do I need to bring you onto my projects? But if you think I'm out there raising children and running a business and I'm having meetings with Zizi, like, yeah, Zizi, nice to meet you. By the way, don't work with... I was never... I've never done that. I've never... All I've, all I've ever wanted is for him to crack on over there. We're falling out, crack on, do your thing. Let me do my thing over here. There's been no bullying. Can I say I've been the perfect friend? Probably not, but I'm not the perfect friend to, any, to anyone. Like, no, who's the perfect friend, right? Now, then we go to court. He gets convicted... So in court, they're like, well, where's all the evidence of the bullying? There's nothing. So he's convicted of harassment. Now, bear in mind, he was harassing me for months and I did nothing. It's only when the man threatened the lives of my children, only at that point did it escalate. Only at that point. I tried everything. I tried legal letters. He spoke to me on the phone. I told him he was in the movie. I'll put him in the next movie. I got him an agent. When he was doing all this madness to me, I went and got him an agent. So how am I this wicked guy? He's doing all this madness to me. I went and I got him an agent. Mm -hmm. That agent stuck with him, came to him, came, that agent came to court with him against me. The same agent that I got him. But that's the point, this is his, his client, right? Now, 
This is where you don't, this is what you don't know. He's convicted of harassment, boom, boom. Restraining order, two years. From 2015 to 2017, peace. Right. After the thing runs out, he starts again. Now, this is what people don't know. He starts again, and it continues, and it continues, and it continues. He's doing, he's telling people to come find me. Jack Noel, do this, do that. But I don't say anything. I've got emails from the police 2019, 2020, 2020. But they're like, we'll go get him now. Mm. I've got the emails. And I'm saying to them, just leave him. I don't want you to go get him because I understand he has some mental health. Everyone talks about how Noel doesn't care about his mental health. I care more than anyone. Because if he had real friends that cared, he, they wouldn't have let him do it. My friends wouldn't have let me carry on like that. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So, so anyone who's thinking that I don't care, I've had to endure this shit with my family, this torment, and I'm gonna tell you more, I'm gonna, I've had to endure this torment with my family because I did care. Even after everything he did, I cared enough that I didn't want him to get nicked. So I could show you the emails now. I could get my laptop and show you the email now. Police, 2020, we'll go get him today. And me telling them, no, don't go get him. I just need to make you aware of what's happening. When he got kicked off Instagram, blames me again. Of course he got reported because he was doing all kinds of madness. And I'm not talking like minimal madness where you're just like, I'm talking about people telling him to fuck my wife and he's retweeting that shit. Bang his wife and put the rubber in the fish tank. And he's retweeting that. Then he's screenshotting it and putting it on Instagram as well. So it's going to hundreds of thousands of people. That's why Instagram banned him. It wasn't a case of me report. Like he got, people reported him. Where's this pussy hiding? Excuse my language. Where's this pussy hiding? People are telling him, yeah, up in between his mum's legs. He's retweeting this stuff. This isn't 2004, this is 2020. This is 2019, 2020. You lot don't know about this because I've enjoyed it. So who's bullying who? Mm. 